It was my grandfather's 50th wedding anniversary gift to her. And um, I was the only granddaughter. And I inherited it when I was fairly young and um, really couldn't fully appreciate uh, the gift until, I, you know, as I got older. And while the stone itself was beautiful, it just wasn't my style. And uh, it was very appropriate for her generation, but I also didn't quite have a vision for it. I had an idea of what I wanted and I did bring pictures in, but then I was more inspired by what she had here in the store. So we took an existing piece and modified it to complement my opal. I was awestruck by the makeover. I mean, if you could see the before and after pictures of what the piece looked like before, it, it was like the best makeover I've ever seen. <laughs> I would say it's a beautiful process, especially to take an heirloom piece and make it your own. And I, you know, I've kind of feel like it's an injustice to that piece of jewelry if you're not gonna make it something you love and wear it every day, rather than it just wasting away in a jewelry box. Um, and I felt like Diana Ray is uh, a creative space, more so than your normal storefront jewelry store, the capabilities, um, the imaging that they're capable of to show you the piece before you actually execute the project. You know, it, it's like a surefire way to get exactly what you want. Diane.